You know, a lot's been going on here in my house, okay? A lot of activity, I wasn't sure what it is. Now, I posted a, a video at Christmas time when my grandmother threw the lid of the Keurig at me, okay? But it's not a relative. I'm trying to figure out who it was, and finally today I got it. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Um, the other night, we had my granddaughter's cell phone, and it was in a bag. Nobody was around it. We were in one room. The bag was in another. All of a sudden, we hear something, somebody talking in the other room, kind of scared us. We go in there, and her cell phone was on, and something was on the cell phone talking. Okay, so we shut it off. Um, my wife asked my daughter if that happens with that phone. She said, no, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so then fast forward a couple, maybe two or three days later, I'm sitting in my office. I have, and I've spoken about this, I have a... Um, CD player, you know, a whole unit, old, in my office. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm working on a computer, not touching anything with the uh, CD player. All of a sudden, the CD player changes discs. Disc starts to play. I have no idea. <clears throat> I posted something about Fort William Henry on here, which you can see. Uh, as I'm thinking about that, all of a sudden, I'm starting to realize what I have here, and I've had it before, I know I have a, an Indian, an American Indian, that is here, it's been here forever, but I also have a revolutionary soldier, some revolutionary soldiers, that's the People's Army. They're warning me that there's a lot coming. There's a lot going on. We're gonna have to stand up and defend this country again. I don't know exactly what it is, but they're angry and they're there, they want us to fight like they fought to create this country. They want us to fight and save this country. And let me tell you something, when the paranormal, when the people and the souls on the other side get involved, you really want to watch out because they'll get things done. So be ready, folks. Be ready to stand up for yourself. I'm telling you, don't do anything violent. That's not what I'm saying. Just watch and see. All right. Always remain hopeful, and I know it's tough at this point. Always be optimistic. Again, tough, but you got to do it. You got to do it for yourself. And let's hope that none of this comes true, that things kind of work their way out, which they might. Uh, they might have a hand in it. Trust me, when the souls want you to do something, you better damn well do it, because I didn't want to do this. And they made, and I said, I fought with, uh, it was in my first book, for those of you who read my first book, I fought with a medium who told me I had to do this. Uh, she was right, I was wrong. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it was real difficult on me. They started taking a very lucrative con photographic contract I had, I'm a photographer, away, and my life got really, really bad, really fast. So I should have followed what they wanted me to do and started doing this. As a call bearer, I'm a little different than mediums. I want to stress that, okay? I get five, to, maybe five souls, maybe a few more that are closest to you. I like to tell people that is, uh, it's like Christmas and Thanksgiving, not weddings and funerals. So those that come are the ones that are around you. They'll bring me information about what you're going through and how to move you through it. Anyway, guys, please follow and like this video as well. Uh, follow me, sorry. Um, anyway, and enjoy the videos. I hope you do. Okay? Remain hopeless. Always remain hopeful. Always remain optimistic, never pessimistic. Have a great day. And make the most of your life. Enjoy your life. It's the only one you got. Keep it going and smile. Bye for now.